Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about a project title, Food Calories Estimation Using Deep Learning. The introduction of this project is to create a cutting-edge method for precisely calculating the calorie content of different food items through the utilization of the deep learning method. By harnessing the capability of the neural network and the advanced algorithm, the project centers on examining the food image to ascertain their nutritional information. This innovative system will offer the user a convenient and effective means to monitor their calorie consumption and make well-formed dietary choice. And the project shows the immense potential in encouraging the healthier lifestyle and aiding the individual in their pursuit of balanced nutrition by potentially transforming the way we manage our food intake by this project. And the main goal of this project is to create a dependable and the precise system for gauging the calorie content of the different food items. To achieve this, advanced deep learning algorithms including CNN, KNN, SPM, Random Forest, MobileNet V2, Inception V3 and the DenseNet will be utilized to examine the food image and extract the essential feature for the calorie prediction. Additionally, the image scaling processing technique also applied to enhance the data quality. The overarching objective is to furnish the user with a reliable and effective tool for estimating the food calorie, empowering them to make the better dietary choice and embrace a healthier lifestyle through this innovative project. Potential impact on improving the overall well-being is substantial. And these are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project. Software requirement. Python IDEL with version of 3.7, Anaconda with version of 3.7, or Jupyter. Hardware requirements are operating system as Windows, processor of minimum Intel i3 and above, RAM of minimum 4 GB, hard disk of minimum 250 GB. And to know about the flow of the project, these are the steps we need to discuss. The first one is importing the libraries. To begin this project, the necessary Python libraries are imported, including the TensorFlow and Keras for the deep learning, sklearn for machine learning algorithm, Flash for web framework, and the Pandas and NumPy for the mathematical calculations. And the second one is importing the dataset. A diverse data set containing the images of various food items along with their corresponding calorie value will be collected and prepared for the training and testing the model. And the third one is image scaling and processing. The food images in the data set will undergo the pre-processing step like resizing to a consistent size, normalization and the other necessary transformation to ensure the uniformity and enhance the model performance. And the fourth step is building the model. Several deep learning and the machine learning models are constructed for the food calorie estimation for the given image of food. The first one is CNN. It stands for Convolutional Neural Network. It's a class of deep learning models specifically designed for the image recognition task. It consists of multiple convolutional layers that automatically learn and extract the feature from the input image. In the food calorie estimation, CNN will be used to analyze the food image and identify the relevant pattern and the features that correlate with the calorie content. The network will be trained on the dataset learning to map the image input to the corresponding calorie value. And it's suited to because they are effectively capture the spatial relationship and the image making them suitable for analyzing the food item. And the second one is KNN. KNN stands for K Neural Sniper is a simple and the initiative machine learning algorithm used for the classification task. In this project, it will be applied to estimate the calorie content based on the similarity of the food image. When a user input an image of a food item, the algorithm will find the K nearest food item from the training data set based on the image feature. The calorie value of these nearest sniper will be averaged to predict the calorie content of the input food item. KNN is useful in the need to compare the input data with the existing data point to find the closest match. And the third one is SPM. It stands for Support Vector Mission. It's a powerful supervised learning algorithm. It, the food calorie estimation, SPM will be used as a regression model to predict the continuous calorie value. 
The algorithm will learn a hyperplane that best separates the food image based on the feature and the corresponding calorie content. When a new image is provided, the algorithm will determine its position related to the hyperplane to estimate its calorie content. SVM are effective when dealing with the high dimensional data, making them suitable for the image based task. And the fourth one is random forest. It is an ensemble learning method that combines the multiple decision tree to make the prediction. In this project, the random forest will be applied to estimate the food calorie content by training a collection of decision tree on the data set. Each decision tree will learn the different pattern and the features from the data. And the final prediction will be the average or the majority vote of the individual prediction. Random forest is robust handles the complex data well and reduce the risk of overfitting. And the fifth one is MobileNet V2. It's a lightweight and efficient deep learning model designed for a mobile application. It's based on the depth-wise separable convolutions which significantly reduce the model size and the computational complexity without compromising the performance. In the foot calorie estimation, MobileNet V2 will be used for the calorie prediction on the device with a limited computational resource. And the sixth one is Inception V3. It is also a deep convolutional neural network architecture designed for the image recognition task. It uses the combination of the multiple convolutional filters of varying sizes to capture the different levels of the image detail. In the foot gallery estimation, Inception V3 will be utilized to analyze the foot image and extract the meaningful feature for the calorie prediction. It is expected to provide the high accuracy due to its ability to capture the complex pattern in the images. And the next one is DenseNet. It is a dense connected deep learning architecture that introduces the skip connection between the layers. In the DenseNet, each layer receives the feature map from all the previous layers, facilitating the information flow and the feature reuse. And the foot gallery estimation project, the DenseNet will be employed to extract the essential feature from the foot image and estimate the calorie content. The dense connection improves the gradient flow and encourages the feature reuse, leading to the efficient training and the improved performance. And the next step is training the model. The prepared data set will be split into the training and the testing set. The model will be trained on the training data using their respective algorithm. The training process involves adjusting the model parameter to minimize the prediction error. And the sixth step is user gives the input. The project will be integrated with a user-friendly interface using the class framework. Users can input an image of a food item through this interface. And the next step is the given input is pre-processed for prediction. The input image will be undergo the same pre-processing step as of the dataset images, ensuring it is ready for the input into the trained model. And the next step is trained model is used for the prediction. Once the input image is pre-processed, it will be fed into the each of the trained model like of CNN, KNN, SVM, Random Forest, MobileNet V2, Inception V3, and TenseNet. And the last one is the final outcome is displayed. The estimated food calorie content with the type name of the food is calculated by the each model. The final outcome which include the prediction from all the model will be displayed to the user through the Flask web interface. And the execution of the project. To execute the project first we need to open the code folder. And this is the code folder containing of various files within it. The data set folder containing of the various food items containing of the images within each of it. And the static folder containing of the folders like of CSS, JavaScript, images, assets within it. And the template folder containing of the HTML documents it likely include home, index, notebook, result, sign-in and sign-up pages within it. And upload folder contains of the images that will be used to test the performance of the model. And the app is an py file likely contain the information that related to the frontend logic. It includes the code written in Python that handles the server-side operations such as processing the user request, interacting with the database, and generating the dynamic content that could be rendered in the HTML template. 
and the model files contains the algorithm information and it will be loaded into the project code during the runtime to utilize the trainer model for the various tasks such as making the prediction on the new data or performing the specific operation and the notebook is an ipynb file which contains a combination of code graph and output all in one place it allows the user to write and execute the code and the individual cell making it a popular choice for the data science and the synapse.db is a file appear to be the database file use it to store the user information and the overall project code is present as a combination of graph output and code all in one place the name of ipynb file with notebook name and to execute the project we build a flash framework as of front end and for the execution first we need to copy this code folder path and then open the anaconda prompt here we need to change the location of the disk to f because our code folder is present in f disk then write a command cd space and paste this address by this the code folder path will be changed from the directory to this code folder path and then click on enter button and write an command that is python space app dot py by using this command it will execute the python script and perform the runtime check for the any syntax errors or logical issues and after running this app.py file the flash framework will host the application locally at the default address like this we need to copy this local link and paste it on any of the web browser of our choice and i prefer to use the google chrome and then click on enter button by this we get an page like this with the title and the sign in and sign up buttons click on sign up button it will redirect you to the sign up page containing some of the details that are need to be filled to create an account but my account is already created that's why i'm using the sign in button here it redirected to the sign in page containing of some information like username and password that need to be entered by, by me and i'm entering the details of username and password and then clicking on the login button here we redirected to this page containing of the notebook and logout buttons with of choose file and upload button here i'm clicking on the choose file button we have redirected to this upload folder containing of some images within it i'm selecting one image and then click on the open button and then click on the upload button here the result is classified and as Based on the uploaded image, donut is detected with the calories of 320 per 100 grams. And by clicking on the try again button, we redirect it back to the index page containing of choose file and upload button. Click on the choose file and select any one of the image, and then click on the open button, and then click on upload button. Here, it predicted as the image is gray and calories is 67 per 100 grams. And this way, we can estimate the food calorie of the certain image by using various machine learning and the deep learning algorithms. And conclusion, our project has successfully achieved its objective of developing an advanced and accurate system for estimating the calorie content in various food items. By leveraging the deep learning algorithm, including the CNN, KNN, SPM, Random Forest, MobileNet V2, Inception V3, and the DenseNet, the project can effectively analyze the food image and provide the reliable calorie prediction. This project holds the potential to revolutionize the dietary tracking and empower the user to make the informed and nutritional choice, with the ability to support the healthier lifestyle. and foster the better eating habits the system contributes significantly to promoting overall well-being and improved dietary management for the individuals worldwide thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.